Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is React full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, we went over an uh, overview of the Create React App repo and the project and its features. Today is the time we will deep dive into the folder structure and we will go through each file and understand why it is important, what is the purpose and after this episode, you will have a clear understanding of the Create React app repo and you can start coding with me. So it's very very important this episode. So let's get started. This is part four of the series. If you have missed out on the first three parts, make sure that you go through them, especially episode number two. That's where we did the installation and the prerequisites, etc. Today we are talking about the folder structure of the Create React app. Right. So this is the theory on your screen right now. I'll not go into the theory because this is what I'll be covering as part of the folder structure in the actual code. So let's go there and get started. All right. So I'll open up my code base. Now we don't need this. Let me make some notes for you. This is episode four. We are going over the folder structure. All right. Perfect. So let's save it. All right. So when you open your repo, when you open your project, you created this arc credit bank because we ran this command npx create react app and followed by the project name. If you have given some other project name, you would see that project name here. Expand that. And then you would see these are the files which are there inside that particular folder. The first that you will see is the node modules. Now these are the dependency, dependencies for the project. Okay, so node underscore modules. Now if you open, you would see a lot of modules which are dev dependence, but to actually see that what all is installed, you can go to package.json, right? So you can see these are all the dependencies, these are all the scripts, and then you would see some dev and configurations for ESLint. Okay, that is the best part about CRA because you don't have to worry about it. It does it underline, okay, in the background. So package.json is where we can see the dependencies <coughs> of the project. Okay, so you can see the dependencies that are listed here. And it will install whatever is required in the background. So you don't have to worry about it. Package.lock will have a lot of details, the interdependencies of other files, etc. So you can ignore package.lock. Okay. Now you don't need that as such, but understand that this has the setup plus dependencies, dependencies, etc. that are required for the project. What is the difference? Now the difference is that package.json will list all the main modules or the libraries that are required. Package lock will have even its dependencies listed further deep down. Okay. Like say if Babel has requirement of this, you would see that Babel is installed and then all the dependencies are listed here. Okay. So that's okay. If even if you don't understand any of this, okay, you don't have to work or worry about package lock dot JSON. Just understand that this is more of a description of all the packages that are installed. Whereas package.json will have the only the main dependencies. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it comes with a readme. Okay. Which is nothing but a readme.md is the file where you have the documentation. This file has the documentation for the project. You can go through that and read through that some of the scripts they have written, what to do, what not to do, etc. But this is mostly the documentation that comes with that particular repo. All right, then you have the git ignore, right? Now, when you're running in a git mode, dot git ignore will have all the files that you don't want to commit. Okay, this file, file ignores the files slash folders mentioned in the file. Okay. That's mostly when you're trying to commit, it will tell you that which files and what details to ignore. In this case, if you see, it's ignoring .pnp, .js, 
product slash coverage slash build slash node modules etc as a beginner you don't need to worry about it again but when you start working in real-time enterprise applications you will need to use this because you will have to mention what files to ignore so that you don't check the code randomly or by mistake <coughs> all right then you would see a public folder you would see a public folder now inside public folder the first one that you see is the fav icon right now this is nothing but the one that displays displays the fav icon in the browser okay for your application now where do you see that you can if you open any browser you can see there would be an icon that comes along with that comes along with here a small icon that comes up here you see this is the fav icon okay that you see on the browser see this here small icon that is the fav, fav icon that comes so that is the fav icon you if you want something changed for your application you will change this particular file the next are the logos of the react application so you can ignore or you can replace the ones that with your own logos okay whatever logo dot pngs are coming okay the next is the manifest dot json so this is again uh, where you put your icons and the details of description of your thing okay you can ignore that also for now if you are a starter okay now manifest.json you can go through that that is mostly for icons start URL standalone uh, theme color background color etc so these are the generic settings that are required for the project so you can say generic settings All right, now comes to the main part, which is index.html. Very, very important. Okay, very, very important. And starting point of your application. Okay, remember that under public, you have index.html. That's a very, very important file. We always say React is a single page application because it has only one index page okay so single page application that's why only index.html is there rest everything will be rendered dynamically okay now let's open that file <coughs> when you open this file you will see the basic html structure which is html head meta link all of those links to the logo links to the manifest json uh, title etc the important thing that you need to know is this line number 31 okay the line number 31 says div id equal to root that's all it says correct and that's the starting point of your application remember that because i will show you i you can relate it to it when i cover the source folder now but understand this is the entry point of your application this is the entry point of your application all right <clears throat> so that's the entry point of our application we will relate it with it just in just a bit when I cover the source folder so I hope all the things are clear robots.txt is again for your SEO purpose so right so robots.txt is for SEO and search engines okay that's the robots.txt I hope so far it's clear I hope till public folder everything is clear now comes the most important which is the backbone which is actual source code of a react application which will be in the source so SRC stands for source okay now in this you would see multiple files remember thus i told you the starting point of our application is div id root correct so now go to index.js when you go to index.js you would see react dom dot create root document dot get element by id root this is the same thing what we saw in the public index.html id is equal to root now you know how it connects 
it will connect because in the index.js file you are reading that particular element and then we are rendering our react application using that particular app okay so that is how index.js is linked so index.html will have link to index.js which gets the root div and loads the react application okay that is the connection of how this source code is connected to the index.html once again i'll open the index.html and if you scroll down and go here you would see that this is how you are linking this particular page with your application okay you have the div id equal to root and you have the application that is mapped okay that's number one then once you go to index.css this is the base styling index.html will be linked with index.css which is the styling of the pages okay you can also say that index.js is what the javascript code that will work and compile okay so index.js index.css will correspond to the style sheet and javascript correspondingly the next file that you will notice is app.js so let me put these files first so that you know the files we have covered so we covered index.js we covered index.css we covered app.js so what is app.js that's what defines the application okay now if you go to app.js and you will see code here whatever code you see that's exactly what is getting rendered okay and if you see here that app.js is imported into index.js see that so here you are seeing that you are linking the index.css also you are importing app from app which is app.js right this is the source code so app.js is the application code actual application defines or implement implements the application that's number one app.js app.js is imported into index.js okay so index.js will have app.js definition now you can see here we are importing the app and then we are calling it in the here as part of the index.js app.js similarly will have app.css which is the styling for the application okay don't worry too much just understand the basic concept that <coughs> now this is where styling of the application is defined but again you will not define it in one file you will have components they will have their own style but understand that there will be a JS there will be a CSS right you are seeing a pattern right here you see index.js here you see index.css same way you have app.js you have app.css the next is the app test.js so this is where we will write our unit testing unit tests are defined are defined in this file okay now unit test for app.js so if you open that just a basic test right now this is using the react testing library but we can also use zest okay by default it's using react testing library okay that is for the react app.test.js okay and then we covered app.css which is the styling which is involved for app.js it's called inside app.js you can see here app.css so this is imported into app.js file okay app.css is called inside app.js file 
Now similarly index.css is called inside index.js file. Then we have a logo which is again we can customize the logo that we want and change it accordingly. So logo.svg change the logo change the logo according to the project or application okay the next file in the is report web vitals okay now report web vitals is nothing but a file which collects and sends the data okay now if you see here these are all the web vitals like you can configure uh, the details that get sent okay now this is all for the performance improvement you want to capture some click events etc you want to report back on logs etc so this is for logging purpose okay we will use that as we progress in the application for now today just understand that you need that for logging purpose de capturing data and logging for debug the last is the setup tests right now dot js setup tests.js now this is where you configure the basic test configuration okay you can again change it and you can modify it as we progress we can apply different library different framework but that's all for advanced learning understand what the files do today all right so that covers our folders and all the files that are there in this particular repo if it's very very important that you go through these extremely detailed understand what each file does while we progress in the series I will cover I'll touch base I will explain and keep using them as we progress but this episode I want you to be hundred percent confident of the folder structure and all of the things that I've mentioned the same thing I've written here nothing new but I have explained everything in the in the notes so make sure that you go through that and once you have it there you are you are already 50 percent in understanding how react would work i am taking it slow easy for you let me know if you have any questions in the comment section i'll be more than happy to help you in the next episode i will walk you through the built-in scripts if you open the package.json you would see that there are some scripts that are already defined i'm collapsing this open it here you would see these scripts which say start build test eject I am going to walk you through them as to what each does and then we will start building out the code for our application which is a credit card portal that we are building I hope you are loving this series thank you so much for showing so much support and love to my playlist and to me and my channel keep supporting let's make the best series on YouTube Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.